I think we just want to know what we're supposed to do. Casey Diaz knows his neighborhood is a spot where crime happens. There's a lot of foot traffic here, especially on this corner. Until one night he came home to yet another needle in his bushes and had enough. Now, this isn't the first time he's had to deal with an incident like this. It's actually the third time in the past year. But when he came home from work Wednesday afternoon, he noticed one of these right at his doorstep. Coffee, please. Hi, um, I just came home and found another syringe laying in front of my house, but it, I was told I should call you guys. This is the third one I found this year. Okay, I mean, we can come and dispose of it or you can dispose of it yourself. There's nothing really we can do with it. I was shocked by the reaction, the uh, nonchalantness, if you will. Uh, I mean, she stated to me there wasn't anything they could do about it. Tippecanoe County Health Department Environmental Secretary Amanda Balser says you shouldn't pick them up without proper equipment. We we recommend that you never pick up a needle, um, call us or call them. But after Diaz did call police and received that response, he took to Facebook, where other community members chimed in on their similar experiences. He continued to do what the dispatcher told him, even if it meant he was committing a felony by having it in his possession. I picked it up myself because that's what they told me to do, which was uncomfortable, but I threw it in the trash. They're dangerous and call us to, to discard it properly. WLFI confirmed with Lafayette Police that this was one of their dispatchers. Lieutenant Scott Galloway says people should call in if this happens. We'll address um, our dispatch um, unit to make sure they're aware that that's the protocol for us to do and we have the equipment to go ahead and take care of the syringes if they're found, the discarded syringes, needles, and we'll make sure that they're all aware of that. So in the future, if somebody calls, they know that they'll call a police officer to go do that. I don't want to touch it. As for Diaz, he wants this to be a wake-up call. We all thought we were supposed to call the police, you know, to help us with this thing, and if they're not going to help us, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. So maybe this story will prompt some sort of action where we as a community can figure out a system of how to resolve this or dispose of these dangerous items. In Lafayette, Lafayette Journalist News 18.